both domestic and international. We teach a great deal about New York, uh, about uh, the West Side and the High Line and the development stories around Hudson Yards. We teach a great deal about development throughout the country and development uh, that's happening abroad. And in fact, large packs of SWAT teams of students are going out to uh, Brazil and India and China and Europe. Interesting, not a lot of demand for Europe, a lot of demand for Brazil and India and China. Uh, in January to study development there in Studio X's that Mark mentioned. Um, uh, we are trying to be as interdisciplinary and as engaged with the rest of GSAP as possible. Uh, we basically come at this from the view that uh, if you look at an act of preservation, for instance, preservation is really an act of redevelopment in most cases. If you look at urban planning or urban design, often the very material of those fields is development and how one pushes around and thinks about density. Um, and for the architects in general, and as an architect myself, I'm going through the 12-step program, um, but as an architect myself, uh, I believe our program is very much about empowerment of the profession. Uh, and the way we try to tantalize you in, uh, actually not just the architects, but all of you, is there is a real estate finance class that's offered in the spring to uh, all of the non-real estate uh, uh, students, and for those of you who are interested in everything from, uh, I'll say, affordable housing, and Michael and I have discussed this uh, at great length, uh, that uh, real estate finance is really at the core of affordable housing in many ways, um, uh, that uh, that's a way to sort of entice you into the field, and in fact, uh, for many of the programs we now have dual degree students who are interested uh, both in their core field of architecture, planning, or preservation, uh, as well as learning something about development, not just in terms of being smart about money, but how to reconcile the logic of development with the logic of design and the logic of preservation and so forth. Um, and finally, I just um, close by saying that I think one of the reasons that uh, bringing all of us together, and particularly this program, is that if you look at the rapid urbanization that's happening in the world, uh, and the fact that uh, in the cities that we are in right now at the GUXs, that those cities are largely being driven by their development industries as much as they are being driven by uh, the political machinery, the planning, the, uh, uh, the preservation efforts, the architectural efforts. And so uh, it's with that in mind that we approach development worldwide. So please come to our classes, look at our program, uh, and welcome to the school. Thanks.